Hey guys, and welcome back. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Chicken Police. Um, yeah, so um, in the last episode we um, were at the PD, where we questioned Zip and um, found out about the wristband thingy and that he had to get rid of a buddy for Ibn, who was blackmailing him. Um, he... I, I think he de deposited the body at the hive where we uh, can be sure that not that much of it is left. So um, the question is whether we get to go to the hive. But the first thing we do is we try to find out where the wristband is from. And um, according to Zip, the prisoners of Corwell don't have those. Um, we, sus we suspected like a hospital badge or something like that and yeah our um medical um uh, professional uh, in clovel is no nobody else than dr bubo and i think we are gonna just head over to him right now hello ursula dear it's ursula hello, what's the rush is there something wrong 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 that dim-witted, insane, ragged old stinky owl. That's what's wrong. Whoa, whoa. Okay. It's all right, Ursula. Just tell us what happened. What happened? You happened. And Wester's goons. It was supposed to be the only day of the year we could have relaxed a little. We're sorry, Ursula. You're oh, right. Oh, boy. Like I care, Marty. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of the bitter old owl, and I'm tired of waiting. And? Never mind. I'm going. Okay. This time, I'm going for good. So I really liked Bubo, but I think I like Ursula a lot more. <laughs> Hang in there, Ursula. No, don't leave. If there's anything we can do to help. I mean, she works at the hospital, so maybe she can help us instead of Dr. Bubo. So. Anything? Of course there is, my dear. I never want to see your faces again. Ouch. I'm going to try to talk to the old owl. All right? <laughs> Good luck with that. Oh, and uh, Ursula, thanks for all you've done for us. With the car. Yep. You know, I'm starting to regret it. <laughs> that was rough. She has a good heart. But yep. understandable. I only see yep. Bubo once a year. And <laughs> Even that's way too much. A lot of people feel the same about us. Yeah, that's true. Yep. <laughs> yeah, we already saw that stuff. Oh, look at that. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Who's next? Like, because of the owl. Who? <laughs> okay, let's talk to him. What's up, Doc? Somehow we guessed we'd find you still awake. Stop playing innocent. I've heard that little intermezzo. I have the ears of an owl, you know. We're very sorry, Bubo. I'm sure she'll come back. Of course she'll come back. She loves me. I don't know why. And she's afraid that I'll drink myself to death once she's gone for good. <laughs> she is not wrong about that. What do you want? Haven't you caused enough trouble already? We're here for some information. Then we'll be out of your hair. I mean, <laughs> feathers. Who cares? Woo! So what do you want? And be quick about it. Okay. Just quickly look that up. In case we can use the information. Ursula got really mad at the old owl, but doesn't seem to upset. Uh, but it doesn't seem to upset Bubo that much. He just—he's just dead inside. Pain. Ah, I really like him. <laughs> okay, that's us. Hey, <laughs> Ursula. Bubo, about Ursula. What about her? Well, that's just it. <laughs> what if she's not coming back? I'm a little worried about you, Doc. Mm. And you know that's not my style. 
Well, don't worry, boys. The wind's blowing, the sun's shining, and Ursula always it's night. comes back. Exactly. <laughs> there are things in the universe that are unchangeable. Oh, okay. Good for him. But you should be prepared for the worst. I thought Molly was coming back too, you know. Oh, Sonny. Oh, yeah. I trust Ursula, Sonny. What else can I do? Well, to be honest, that's all you can do. Well, that was sad. That rat you mentioned yep. was Zip. Should I be surprised <laughs> or what? I knew it was him. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we knew you knew. <laughs> what did that old raccoon do this time? Well. Gibbon was blackmailing him with something. That's what we wanted to ask you. Do you know anything about it? I don't care about Wessler's dealings, Sonny. I patch up whoever winds up here, and I don't care if they're <laughs> cops or gangsters. Yeah, it's the same thing. Or gangster cops. Yeah, it's the <laughs> same thing. Oh. Oh, brother. <laughs> what do you know about this wristband, Bubo? Zip said they gave these to patients in hospital. That's why we came back to you. Oh no, Arsenal's mm -hmm. gone. You can't Something ask her. Similar, yes, but not exactly the same. It's different. It's a sanatorium. And and what? Well, what do you think? Where's this from? How the hoot would I know, Sonny? What am I, some kind of psychic? That I put my hands on it and tell you? Okay, let's try another approach. <laughs> yeah, maybe he's more interested in the corpse than just the wristband. Do you have any idea why Wessler's men were looking for Zip so hard? I don't. How should I know? Why should I care? He had to hide a body. The body of someone Wessler killed. The wristband is from the corpse. I mean, if like death and misery is involved uh boo boo has its in his interests interests in in that maybe he knows like i don't know who died in coal and stuff like that i mean if if ibn killed them no well, maybe it's just a well known uh well hidden secret really hmm. that rang a bell old owl hmm. Well, boys, if I'm right, you're in deep shit. That's more like <laughs> nice. It. Tell us, Bubo. So, Wessler, the wristband, and a mm. corpse, huh? It looks very much like I know the connection. <laughs> or at least I have a hunch. Okay. Out with it, owl face. Okay, don't peck me, chickens. Hobart Ibn Wessler has a relative who happens to be a resident at an insane asylum. The band is very likely from there. Wait, a relative? What kind of relative? I knew it. Oh, I mean, sanatorium and asylum, I, I think it's kind of the same thing. They're both somewhat outdated terms for a mental hospital. The difference is that an asylum usually refers to a state-run facility, while a sanitarium is privately run. Like for the mental ill? Oh my god, I should be I should be in detect a detective. You don't know. I thought you were the detectives. <laughs> Anyway, oh my god. Ibn Wessler has a twin brother, Albert. Albert Wessler. Mm, you put it together very skillfully, Marty. Yes, Albert Wessler. He's a madman kept in solitary confinement. So I wonder if uh, that's the one place that was missing? Uh, but we will see soon if we can Do you think open the notebook. The but why? Oh. How the hell should I know that? Thanks, Bubo. If what you told us is true, then this time we'll owe you one. Mm. The wonders never cease. 
Albert Wessler, which is Albert Tadeus. He's got some fancy long name. I don't remember, but I have a brochure. Let me find it for you. I mean, thanks, Bubo. Like, well, here it is. Let there be peace forever. Mental oh, that's for ill and damaged minds. That sounds quite a big fool. Quite scary. Where find it? I've never heard of it. It's a good six hour drive from Claw. Oh boy. Maybe more. But you'll find everything in the brochure. That's too far You're away. Best, Bubo. You finally proved useful. I mean he did finally last time. Now get your chicken scratchers out of here while I'm asking nicely. Just yeah, okay. one more thing. Okay, what What's do you that, got? Bobo? If that someone was really Albert Wessler, the trouble's bigger than you think. It's always bigger than we think, Bubo. We're used to it. You don't understand. Ibn Wessler never loved and respected anyone in his life like he did his brother Albert. So what? Then the problem's bigger than we thought. A cornered rat bites. Well, thanks for worrying about us, Doc. But there's no way back from here. Too far, too late. We're like hounds, old man. Once we've caught someone's leg, we never let it go. Hmm. Not while you're alive, eh? Yeah, hmm. exactly. Well, goodbye then, fellas. And I wouldn't mind if you never visited me again. <laughs> Pleasure was all ours, Doc. Okay, interesting. I mean, what does it mean and what does it all have to do with Natasha? I mean, we will find out, I think. We are waiting for you. No, that's not what an like a sanatorium or what uh, asylum uh, should like say you're the best bubo you finally proved useful just follow the asylum road wow the asylum on the asylum road okay i mean we don't know if the corpse was really ibn's twin brother uh, albert was his name let's look it up close The wristband is very likely from an insane asylum where Ibn Wessler's secret twin was treated. Oh boy. Oh no. Still no entry here? <laughs> Albert Tadeus Wessler. Rat. He's a dangerous lunatic. Okay. Albert Wessler is Hobbit Ibn Wessler's twin brother, who is being treated in an insane asylum far from the city. Okay. Oh. Let's look at the... Oh, okay, we have... We don't have the opportunity to uh, go to the asylum. I mean, it's a six hour drive. Okay, so... We have a bit of time left. We will visit the temporary places and um, just take a look around if something new is there. We can ask Mullen, for example, about um, Albert. Yeah, I think we're gonna do that. Hello, Timothy. So long, Tim. I hope we won't meet again for a while. Yeah, the. Oops, sorry. Nope. Let's see. I think we'll just uh, investigate. Lewis, haven't seen you in a while. If you see anything interesting, will you tell us, pal? Of course, Sonny. I'll keep my eyes and ears open. Great. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, okay, we don't have like much more to do here. It's just the same. I'm still suspicious about Lewis, I, I have to admit, because... If, if I think about it, he drove Deborah to Flowerville. I think he was the last person who has seen her alive. But maybe, like, Ibn's brother um, escaped from the asylum. Maybe it has something to do with uh, Natasha. 
or her pars? Pa pa past? We don't know. Okay, let's head over there to, to the hotel. We had to gather ourselves, take a deep breath, and think over what we knew so far. What the chickens had I got myself into? What had I dragged Marty into? Moreover, what had we pulled the whole city into? This was going to be one of those cases that changed things forever. But I wasn't worried about myself. It didn't matter to me. Too many pieces had been plucked off this old rooster. But Marty's different. He's too good of a bird and too good of a cop to end up like me. Okay. A secret twin brother? Sonny, I'm starting to feel like we're really in a detective novel. A cheap one. Yeah, me yeah, too. But uh, listen, Marty. What is it, Boss Bird? Um. I think it's best if we go our separate ways. Oh. What? Marty won't do Are that. You joking? I know you have a weak sense of humor, but there's a limit to everything. I'm not joking, Marty. I mean, Sonny admitted that he needed Marty to, like, look after him, take care of him, and Marty won't go. He, he won't. Well, I certainly hope you are. Whatever comes next, you don't need to be mixed up in it. You have someone to go home to. Guys, damn it, Sonny. Can you hear yourself? What do you think? I endured all this to give up now? What do you take me for? No, pal. You're not getting rid of me so easily. I just want you to keep your career and your life intact, you moron. Just accept it, shake my hand, and go home. Your wife, Laura, is waiting for you. One more word, Sonny, and I swear I'm gonna bash your beak in. I risked my life more than once tonight. You know why? No. Why? Because, because I love you. Oh. We have been a team <laughs> for almost a decade. Uh. I don't care what Blood Boil says or whatever's on a goddamn piece of paper. We're the chicken police, Sonny. And we always will be. It's a little bit sad that he doesn't uh, didn't say like because I love you, Sonny. But I mean that's that's pretty good too. <laughs> so maybe maybe it comes in play later, so like on the verge of dying, like son, you were like a brother to me. Okay, I'm I'm drifting off here. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're right. We're gonna go to that insane asylum and wrap this shit up fast and clean. Yeah, just like you said, even if it kills us. Thanks, Marty. Without you, I'd most likely already be sleeping the big sleep. Birds of a feather flock together, right? <laughs> like you say, partner. Uh, let's drop this before you start crying on me, okay? Yeah, I hope not. You almost just did. <laughs> ah, clock off, Marty. That's the spirit, the Sonny I know and hate. Okay, I, I think it's a love-hate relationship we got here. Okay. A stack of papers. Just looking at them makes me think of Monica. <laughs> so, I think we looked at those things more than once and okay so we have a, lo a, 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 a few loose threads we can't connect I don't know what Ibn's brother should have to do with Natasha but yeah I mean I have the the feeling that the in insane asylum will be like the last showdown place. Well, we don't know. Just let's just talk Where to Marty. Exactly is this place? A few hours drive from here, in yeah. the middle of nowhere. It's a creepy old mansion, of course. Yeah. You think it's a good idea to go there? What if it's a trap? I told you, you can still go back. Huh? Wouldn't mm. you love that? No such luck, boss. If I get killed or locked up forever in an insane asylum. That's gonna be on you. Thanks, pal. I deserve that. Still trust her? I never trusted her, Marty. I mean, you believe mm. her? I'm sure she was honestly afraid. People don't fake it that easy. But I can understand why she didn't tell us about her uh, former yeah. profession. Or how she knows Molly. Yeah, that too. And the death of Deborah complicated things even more. Hey. Sonny, she... she didn't seduce you, right? I mean, Natasha. 
Ah, don't be stupid, Monty. My old ticker hasn't been beating for a <laughs> long time. Not that way, anyway. Okay. Yeah, all right, boss. <laughs> Who'd have thought? I believed that little rat. I thought he'd changed. Idiot. I mean, At even was too late to blackmailing him. His past caught up with him. Yeah. Whatever he did since then doesn't matter. Hmm. Not much. Exactly. And that's the case with us, too. That's why I won't back down. Even though a voice in my head is screaming right now, leave it all to hell and have another drink. Maybe we should do that. Maybe we should. Um, but maybe we should. So what do you think happened to the corpse? Probably been eaten. Yeah. Horrible to think about, but even if half of what they say about the hive is true, starvation, riots, arson, predation. You're telling me. Makes my feathers stand on end when I think about what goes on in there. And we pretend we don't know about it. As if Roachtown isn't even part of Clawville. This won't end well. I'm afraid soon Clawville's gonna burn once again. And because of its own foolishness. Mm. Well, that's if another meat war doesn't break out first. Because then the whole wilderness will burn. Lovely prospect, eh? Either way, it was a damn clever move for Wessler to hide the body in Roachtown. It's the only place no one will ever find it. Well. Like the belly of a burning ship. Uh. Oh, I think that was an intentional <laughs> herring. Sounds about right. Okay. Oh boy. Just look at the codex. The Meat War. The Great Meat War was the biggest and most bloody conflict in the known history of the wilderness, ranging from 1822 to 1849. E 849. <laughs> um, in the beginning, it only affected Altera, the two-headed continent, but it's but in its later years, it's, it spread to 12 colonial provinces, including all of Clawwell's four colonies. During the Meat War, about 80. 80 to 90 million animals died after the war. 27 speci species were declared extinct. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. What do you think, Marty? What? You care what I think? <laughs> what? You must have hit your head pretty bad. Stop fooling around, Marty. I'm serious. What do you think about everything? <laughs> well, I think we're in deep shit. Yep. But to be honest, Eben Wessler is in deeper shit. Do you think uh, he really murdered his brother? Nah, but I why? don't think so. And what does it have to do with Natasha and the threats? Yeah. Uh, doesn't add up yet. Something's missing. Let's visit the institution and try to find out what we can about this Albert Wessler fella. Exactly. If he's the dead okay. boss, we've got to know what the motive was. If we can't, and if he's still alive, we got to ask him directly. What do you think, Sonny? I think Ibn, Albert, and Natasha yeah. are the three key players in this case. And that all of it has something to do with the brothel. And Lewis. I don't believe that he's innocent. He's he's the evil mastermind behind it. I uh, I um will be so embarrassed if it turns out wrong. And the fact that Natasha used to be a... <clears throat> Courtesan? Courtesan? Yeah, that oh. too. Listen, Sonny, about Molly. Oh, just forget it, Marty, okay? She's not oh. part of my life anymore. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Forget it. Let's concentrate on the case and on making it out alive and helping Natasha too. Okay, so there are a few questions that I don't like really I can connect to some of these like other parts of the story so what exactly is up with Molly why is she been such a big part I mean yes um, she Natasha tricked Sonny into believing that it's like partly about her because she knew her and she uh, knew that Sonny's uh, she would like get Sonny's interest through that I don't know if it's like just that of oh, there's more behind it we have the the piece of the painting which we like don't know yet why it 
did Natasha keep all her secrets? Why did like Deborah have to die? I I don't know. It's it's a bit. Maybe it will clear up. Whatever you say, Boss Bird. So you think Natasha's really in danger? It could be, or she could even be behind everything. But why no, you don't did she that. contact us then? I'm not sure what I believe, Bonnie. Yep. Let's see. Okay. Things got let's mixed do that. up at the brothel. Yeah. Possible suspects. Okay, let's. Restless Trin? I'm not sure, okay. Helps with the Rispin, oh yeah, this one. But not now? Why? Yeah, okay. It's just a bit of trial and error here. So, can you- oh, you can't read, like, all of it. Just gonna... That's okay. Let's see, things got mixed up at the broth. Natasha was a courtesan, courtesan <laughs> before and even tried to keep that a secret. I even found out that Natasha was a secret spy of Zaivas all the time. Natasha worked at the brothel and Zaivas wanted to keep that a secret because she's with Ibn. Natasha was the secret lover of Zip and Ibn knows that. I wish it was that, but... So... I don't know about that. Natasha worked at the brothel and Zyvas wanted to keep that a secret. I don't know why Zyvas wanted to keep it a secret. Mm. I'm not really sure about that. Uh. Okay, let's go with that because she wanted to protect her. I don't know if Ibn is that interested in keeping her past a secret because he could be like, yeah, but what about it? No, it was wrong. Oh! Then this one. Natasha used to work there, that's obvious. Okay. So Ibn wanted to keep that a secret. So, but that means that all our other like uh deductions in the former investigative episodes here were right because we never had like this uh dismissive uh, thingy here okay now it's an item wristband yeah because that's natasha's key did she give us a key for a room maybe no it has to be that okay a secret it seems somebody else had, had to, to pay, pay for. for okay zip killed someone to keep this a secret on ibn wesley's orders no zip dealt with the body and kept the wristband to himself yes the wristband is the key and the evidence that zip killed someone because of natasha's secret no zip didn't kill anyone zip stole the wristband from ibn wesley okay that's b that's pretty clear here died for that secret zip hid the body but he kept the wristband Okay, now that's uh Restless Twin Molly's name across the corpse with a wristband, Deborah is dead. Okay, it's either those one of those two, but we got the wristband in here, so let's connect those two. Could it belong to? Okay. Albert Wessler, the resident of an insane asylum, somebody from the royal family. Even even Wessler was just a puppet of Zavos all along, the daddy uh, the daddy. <laughs> the dead body was Ibn Wesley himself, but then who was the real killer? There is no dead body. The whole thing was just a hoax and Zip is behold <laughs> behind all of this charade. No. Charade? Charade? I mean, this would be the most obvious one. I mean, this would be like pretty... Insane. Huh. And where did... I mean, they could have, like, um, had some, like, uh, s swapping action if they were twins. Like, oh my god, I was all Albert all the way along. But I think it's the that. Body yeah, okay. Was almost certainly Albert Wessler, a resident of an insane asylum. But why did he have to die? 
Yeah. And... Okay. 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 Oh, okay, we got the new place here. Oh, there's one left, so that won't be our last uh, showdown here. Okay, let's talk to Marty real quick. Oops. Okay, so the picture is more or less clear. Ibn's got his brother killed because he learned Natasha worked in a brothel. That doesn't make sense. I, I don't know if, like, Ibn has got his brother killed. Because, um, maybe, maybe someone else killed his brother and he got very mad about it. Like, what I could imagine is somebody threatens Natasha. Somebody that, I don't know, fr from her past, from Stavonia or something like that, uh, who, like, confused Albert and Ibn. And they knew Ibn was Natasha's lover and um, it was just a big no-go for uh, like maybe royal Stavonian member Natasha to date someone like that. And they got him killed and um, yeah, because they th thought it was Ibn. That's one thing I could imagine. Maybe? Maybe? Just throwing out right guesses here. <laughs> well, that could be the case, but I believe the roots go deeper than that. Which we'd only learn if we talk to him. I mean, if the corpse isn't him, because then we'd need a medium. Which would be exciting, but <laughs> maybe it's enough if we ask the doctor who treated him. That too, yeah. But where's the fun in that? Okay. So... Um, nope. Why can't I... Okay, so the picture is more... Yeah, we, we already had, had that conversation. That too. I'm... You're the best, Bubo. You finally proved... Ah, five, 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 nine, nine, six. Okay, got it. Five, five, five. Nine, nine, six. Five, 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 nine, six, six. Okay. Okay, let's do that. Five, 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 nine, six, six. Okay. Well, I'd like to uh, inquire about a patient who I believe is being uh, uh, treated at your institution. Uh, his name is Albert Wessler. I'm sorry, sir, but I can't give out that information if you don't have the password given to relatives. Do you have one? Unfortunately, I don't have that. I'm not a relative. I'm calling from the Clawville Police Department. Thank you, miss. I guess I'll do that. We'll welcome you with open arms, sir. Have yourself a beautiful starlit night. Oh, uh, <laughs> thanks. Uh, goodbye. See you soon. That was creepy. And I don't want to visit this asylum. So, we so. have to go there. Thought gives me goosebumps. Yep. Chicken bumps aren't good enough for you. <laughs> ha ha ha. Why so, can't I? I get the couch. It'd be better if I called Lewis. He'll open up a room for you to sleep in. We go there tomorrow. Oh, great idea. Um. Please say the floor inside is covered with conspiracy theory papers and notes written Aww. with your own blood. More like dirty clothes and empty bottles, Marty. 
Sorry. Ah, uh, you're no fun, Sonny. <laughs> well, you'll get old eventually, too. Never! Okay, so I have to call Lewis. Let's look up his uh, phone number. A mental institute with a ridiculous long name and a ridiculously long history. According to the pictures, it looks just like the castle of the vampire bats in those cheap horror movies. Yep. But right, Lewis. Do we have the Lewis number is five 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 nine three two. So you know I'm very suspicious about Lewis and um yeah. I don't know why um the game wants to like contact wants us to contact him again if he doesn't play a bigger role and I already forgot his phone number. 932. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh 55532. Five, okay. He's not picking up. Hey Lewis, it's oh. uh it's me again. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Sonny. What's up? Were you sleeping, pal? Wasn't. Yeah. Anyway, what were you doing? Would you open up a room for Marty? Naturally, Sonny. Thanks, Lewis. I'm not even gonna say it. I, I, I will. You won't be wondering. Have you had some? Yeah. Okay. Oh boy. Sorry for the mess, Marty. I uh, rarely have visitors. Don't worry about it, Sonny. I didn't expect anything else. Yeah. I'd still like to take a peek inside. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Marty. Hmm. I wouldn't do it if I were me either. Okay. Oh, it gets more and more enticing. Okay, so I think we just have to head over to the insane asylum, but we're gonna do that in the next episode. Uh, I think that's that this was a really nice episode. We got to know some like juicy information here with uh, Ibn's twin brother and um, I hope there is some like persona switching double life thing going on. Um, but I mean we have a dead body so we don't know yet who is dead and um, the lady from the from the asylum seemed to be a bit too nice uh, and too welcoming so um, I think uh, it will be really fun going there to the insane asylum in the next episode and um, if you want to know how the story continues please join me in the next episode and until then bye Ooh.